Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am so excited because I don't have to tiptoe around my voice volume. La Bebe is not in this room. She is with daddy right now. He's on daddy duty, yes. And I'm having a pumpkin spice latte. Oh my God, September 1st is here. Happy September. You're not gonna see this until a few days later, but it is September 1st when I am currently filming this and I am so excited because that means pumpkin spice Everything, when I'm telling you, I got a whole box of pretty much all pumpkin spice munchkins. Yes. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing my variation of the BoxyCharm base box for the month of September. And we're gonna try some of the products and I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's more than enough makeup for me or like items that I can actually use on camera right about now. You guys know I come on here pretty prepared. My face has been cleaned, exfoliated and all that good stuff. I skipped moisturizer just in case because I know there are a few moisturizers that are gonna be rotated amongst the boxes. With that said, this box was sent to me in PR for me to review it for you guys. This box retails for $25 every single month. You're gonna get five full-size beauty items, skincare, makeup, and tools. They've been including hair stuff in these two. Hence the reason why I have a zero makeup on my face, but let's go ahead and dive on in. All right, so the theme for the month of September on regular boxes are BoxyCharm BTS Behind the Scenes. Now, I have unboxed, I'm, I'm unboxing them all like randomly. I don't know which one's gonna go up first. I don't know if Face will go first, Premium will go first, or Lux will go first. However, I do know that the Lux box, the card said Fall Lux, which I thought that was the theme, but apparently no, that's just letting us know that that's the Fall Lux box, and I'm assuming that when winter comes, it's gonna say Winter Lux. However, the actual theme for the month of September is BTS Behind the Scenes. The very first item that I am going to whip out for you guys is the Glam Glow Youth Mud Glow Stimulating Treatment. I own this. I actually used it two days ago. It's actually really good. I don't use it like weekly though because it could be a bit much. So I just use it when I want to feel bougie. This is up there in price, of course, y'all know. This baby is $60, but I am gonna say a little goes a long way. I know that when you look at the pot, you're like, mm, it kind of doesn't seem like it's a lot. It's a decent amount. I'm gonna tell you, it's a decent amount. Again, only apply it in the areas that you would really need it. If you need it all over your face, that's fine. But I'm gonna tell you, you really don't need to apply this all over your face. If you guys wanna see me apply this here on camera in another video, let me know and I'll go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna set this one over to the side. Cause like I said, I used it two days ago and I already own it. The next item is in my box is the insert name here quick slick this is their hair essence basically I have it hold on hold on hold on I always feel like you guys are rushing me but I'm gonna set this over to the side because I, I even I have backups of this already as it is I own it already so I showed it to you guys in my uh, boxy charm game show video she looky like this right so all you do is like you find your little flyaways and you just comb them down now, you know, insert name here sells hair tools, this product, as well as what they're really known for, which is their wigs, their ponytails. I own a few of their wigs and ponytails, and girl, their quality is amazing. I love that I can like apply heat to them and all that good stuff. Now, this product retails for $22. Do you need this? No, you don't. You really don't. If you get it, will you use it? I think so. I, I honestly do think so, because it does come in handy. It's great to just pop in your bag. I have one in an overnight bag and then I have this one just in case I were to need it. I'm gonna tell you right now, it doesn't make your hair crunchy, hard. It doesn't leave a white cast or anything like that. It's kind of like a hair gel, but it's not because it doesn't give you the effects that a hair gel does to your hair, basically. And it doesn't weigh it down or anything, but you can just comb down your little flyaways, boom, boom, and if your hair is up, it works just as well. It is not to tame your edges in a way where you're gonna lay your edges. This is not edge control. So it's not that powerful, but it does. It does a really good job of keeping your hair where you want it. The next item in my variation is by Georgette Kalinger. It happens to be a primer. This here is their Marula primer. It is for all skin types. I didn't apply moisturizer, but that's okay. I'm gonna skip on that and I'm gonna go ahead and apply a primer, why not? Now I know you guys are like, okay, that's like more than half of the box. What's going on? Like, do you have any makeup in there? I actually kind of do, kind of. My hair is in layers. You see this mess? Sometimes it looks like I have no hair. Okay, first of all, the Marula primer has zero scent to it. That is important for you guys to know. Also, it is not like, it doesn't feel like a moisturizer, like a 
really, really hydrating moisturizer. It's not thick, it's very loose. Almost like a water gel, if anything, if that makes sense, water gel. I'm gonna give it a second because I'm curious as to how this is gonna feel after it dries down. If it dries down, if it's gonna be tacky, does it feel moisturizing? We will see. Let's go on to the next product. I got a Huda Beauty Lippy. I am so excited for this. This is their Demi Matte Cream Lipstick in the shade Day Slayer. This is actually a good box. This is a really good box. I'm not even mad. I am not, I, I liked my looks. Be ready. If you haven't seen it, just be ready. I'm not sure, again, if it's up or not. Just, just know my boxes go up or like back to back to back. But oh my God, my looks was good. Here's your Demi Matte. Day Slayer is a beautiful nude. You know what? It's kind of pale, but it works. I can make this work. Like I don't really have to work for it. She's gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay to work with. And then the very last item is this over here. It looked like a little like boom box, you know, like the big ones we used to carry, not we, you know, my mama used to carry like this. Okay, so it says pump your base to multi-use makeup sticks by the brand Pinky Rose Cosmetics. This is cruelty free. Okay, so we got like two palitos, two little um, eyeshadow sticks, are you? Eyeshadow stick? Eyeshadow stick things, okay. That's a matte. Okay, so the light one is in the shade Hip Hop and it's like really matte. So that's gonna be a beautiful base, guys, for any eyeshadow you were to put on top of it. And I remember I was speaking to someone over in the comment section of one of my videos and I was being asked, what do they need to do in order to get the blues or the greens to really show up? Because of the fact that when they would apply it, it didn't look the way it did in the pan. Some formulas, it is what it is and they're just not gonna work. But realistically speaking, you kind of have to apply a base for those kinds of colors. So oranges, yellows, reds, um, your blues, your greens, those really need a good base that will go ahead and X out the color of your actual lid in order for you to get true to color. And your skin tone also plays a role into that situation. The second shade is called Jazz and it is a beautiful bronzed shade. Very metallic. We're gonna go ahead, create a base, do all that we need to do on the face. And since I already have a primer, we're good to go. And then I can come back and try these two products for you guys here on camera. I just realized I suck. Uh, I forgot to tell you guys what it felt like, like the primer, what it actually felt like once it dried down. It dried down to nothing. Like in my experience, like first impressions, it did not leave a sticky residue on my skin. It didn't feel like super oily or anything like it. It didn't even feel dry. It just felt like I had. So it kind of dried to like a nothing in a sense. It kind of felt like I had nothing. I'm just letting you guys know. Putting it out there because I totally forgot to tell you guys and I messed up. Okay, I am back. If you guys are wondering what blush I have on my cheeks, I actually have the Benetint on. It is their rose tinted lip and cheek stain. Um, I've had it here and I use it, but I've never really used it on camera and I'm trying to do a little better with featuring items that I've been using behind the scenes because a lot of times you guys ask questions with regards to like what's on your face and I never get around to actually answering every single question. So I want to go ahead and play around with these two little sticky sticky thingies. Let's play with the sticks. I'm going to go ahead and use the lighter shade which is the matte. It is called Hip Hop. I'm going to pop that on the inner corner I'm gonna bring it about halfway but I want it to be nice and thick like not thick but you know what I mean like I want it to be nice and opaque this is a very matte and opaque formula but I want this once I blend it in I want it to cover really well like I don't want to see any of my lid like at oh I want her to disappear so I'm gonna use a brush and I'm gonna blend that edge in I just want to see how good this formula is and I'm gonna blend the outer portion of it out this way bang I mean, if you want to do a cut crease, this would definitely work versus using up your concealer. So if you get this in your box and you want to use this to cut a crease, save your concealer because this would work. Okay, this is cute. Let's wait and see how it dries. So while the white one, the lighter shade is drying, we're going to use the copper. I wish the tip was pointy though. The tip is not pointy at all. I'm going to take her and I'm going to drag her out here. I'm going to bring her almost halfway and then I'm going to bring her up to the crease. I'm going to pull her out. Let's see. And then I'm going to bring her up in my crease up this way. You see what I'm doing right there? Big fluffy brush. All right. So I want to be as fair as possible. They are multi-use 
sticks. What does that mean? That means that you can use it for a series of, I don't know, situations on your face. You can use it as brow bone highlights. You can actually use uh, the coppery one more uh, if it works for your skin tone as a highlighter. You can use it as a base or you can use it as eyeshadow. This is not eyeshadow to me. In my opinion, this is more of a base situation. So um, I'm gonna even out this eye. It kind of does stay somewhat tacky. So I would, I would strictly use these for bases. I'm gonna apply my eyeshadow off camera. Yes, I will film it for you guys because um, these shades actually work with an eyeshadow palette you guys wanted to see. I'm going to create a look with that palette, finish off the eyes, we'll come back with the lippy. All right, we are back. Look at the eyes, are they not super pretty? Honestly though, I feel like it would have looked nice regardless, but using these two cream pencils actually kind of helped emphasize the look a little more. If you guys wanna check this eye look out, click up here and or in the description box. You're gonna check it out, you're gonna love it. It's already up, I'm just saying. Yes, we're filming backwards here, okay? Now we're gonna move on to the lips and I really wanna use the Huda Lippy, but I also feel like I'm going to need to emphasize my lips. Let me get a lip liner that works. I'm going to use a deeper brown. This is by Beauty For Real. This is their Deep Fine Lip Pencil in Neutral Deep. I'm gonna go ahead and go around the perimeter of my lips. And now we go in with the Huda Beauty Lippy. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, I'm winging this combo as I wing everything else. Let's just hope this all works out because the eyes are stunning. Not that I'm going anywhere, of course. See, this is what the lippy looks like without it being blended in to the lip liner, but we gotta blend it in, girl. You know we gotta blend it in. I mean, if you ask me, this is a really pretty lip combo. Oh my goodness. And it goes so perfectly with the eyes. All right, so let's get into my final thoughts because I feel like this is a really good box. The only thing, the, the, the only thing, okay, but it's not a complaint, it's a feedback, okay? It's just feedback. I would have liked to see an eyeshadow palette here. I can appreciate the sticks because they're multi-use, so I could use them as eyeshadows, but you guys saw what it looked like on my eyes. It looked like there was a kind of nothing going on. Um, I can appreciate that I can use them as bases though. So that's why I'm not mad. I honestly think that I had a really good variation. The primer felt good. My makeup went on very nicely on top of it. Love this for sure, and it's expensive. So I'm really, really happy about it because now I don't have to buy another one. You guys know how I feel about the quick stick. I mean, every single item in the box was actually really good. I am so happy with my variation, but I wanna hear you guys' thoughts. What do you think about my box? Would you be happy with a box like mine? Make sure you chime in down below and let me know all of your thoughts. I really wanna hear your feedback. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me. It really means a lot. Make sure you check out the videos that are coming here on screen. There are more unboxings, tutorials, how-tos, and all that good stuff. I know you guys are gonna absolutely love and I'll see you guys over there. Bye, guys.